Hello and welcome to another edition of Father Day's Parish Update for Friday, December 18th, 2020, uh, this week before Christmas. So, uh, uh, be having a happy and blessed Christmas in the next few days coming up. So I thought I'd get in the spirit. Anyway, uh, as always, I'd like your special prayers today for one of our parishioners who has passed away this week, uh, Mary Russo. Uh, she was 99 years old, God bless her, and uh, so we pray for the repose of her soul and the comfort and consolation for all her family at this time. Let's begin with our uh, St. Pius uh, Parish campaign prayer as we begin today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty, Almighty and loving God, empower our parish community for living our mission to love God, to love others, to make disciples, and to restore all things in Christ. Grant us generous, courageous, and sacrificial hearts for building our future in service to you and your people. Amen. St. Pius X, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, it's been an extraordinarily busy time uh, this last week as we're in the midst of our campaign, obviously getting ready for a Christmas celebration. Um, all other kinds of activities happening, uh, uh, we'll be also getting ready for a special event here they will be held at St. Pius on December 30th. Uh, Nick Stark, a seminarian for the diocese, will be ordained deacon, transitional deacon, uh, on December 30th. And so we ask your prayers for him and his family. Of course, he's one of our two seminarians, him and Jake Epstein. Um, Jake was already ordained uh, deacon. Uh, Nick's uh, ordination will be, as I said, on December 30th. So it'll be a wonderful celebration, and uh, he'll be preaching at all the masses on the following weekend. Um, and so you'll get to say hi to him and uh, hear his good news as he uh, presents his, uh, 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 an entrance into his new ministry as, in the, as a deacon in the church on his way to uh, pre priesthood ordination. So it's a happy time for the parish, a busy time for all of us. So uh, kind of the first big uh, thing to catch up on, of course, is our capital campaign. It's kind of the big news before us. Uh, we have a wonderful announcement today. We have uh, topped the $4 million mark. Uh, currently, I believe as of today, our uh, estimated pledges are $4,075,000 and about 362 uh, pledges made so far from our parish community. Um, I'm going to put a challenge out to everyone out there. Uh, I would like 100% response, 100% response from all of our parishioners. Uh, I know everyone was mailed a packet. And uh, what I'm looking for is even if you can't give financially, I really would like you to fill in that form and just write on there, I'll be praying for this effort. I would love to have a cascade of response forms uh, with, if it's a, a pledge of prayer, uh, a pledge of $25, a pledge of $25,000, whatever it is, uh, that would be Father Dave's awesome Christmas present for this year. So I'm putting that challenge out to everybody uh, from a parish community is, uh, to make an effort just to respond to this invitation uh, to support this project in whatever fashion you're able to. And uh, we'd love to hear from all of you. Uh, so please send those forms in. Uh, again, uh, uh, the, the campaign will be carried on through the end of January. So we're gonna probably take a little bit of a, a immediate break for around the Christmas season, but pick it up on the 1st of January. Uh, but I'd love to have as get as many people respond with your pledge forms. Uh, again, even if you can't give, write down, I'm going to be praying for this project, and then do it. Pray for us. Uh, pray for our parish community. So good numbers coming in. Again, we uh, our ultimate goal is $5 million, and uh, we are keep keep moving forward. So thank you so much for all those who've made your pledges and, and made that sacrificial giving uh, to help support this great initiative for, uh, before our parish. Uh, coming up this week, obviously, uh, these uh, days before Christmas, this weekend is the fourth Sunday of Advent. Um, and uh, so just a couple highlights for this upcoming week. Uh, Saturday, tomorrow morning, we will still have confessions from 8.30 to 9.30 in the morning in the Reconciliation Chapel in the church. On Monday, uh, there'll be no morning mass. We haven't had mass on Monday mornings, but there will be confessions um, at 5.30 to 7 p.m. on Monday evening, 5.30 to 7 p.m. on Monday evening, December 21st. Then on Tuesday, December 22nd, we'll have our morning mass, regular morning mass at 8.15. Uh, and we'll also have another round of uh, confessions from 5.30 to 7 p.m. on Tuesday evening. On Wednesday, 
um, we'll have Wednesday morning mass at 815 like usual, but there'll be no confessions Wednesday evening. Uh, so Monday and Tuesday evenings are kind of your last official uh, scheduled time slots for additional confessions. So on Wednesday, we'll have morning mass at 815 and then no evening confessions. Thursday morning, uh, Christmas Eve, there will be no morning mass. It'll give us time to uh, prepare the church and get things ready for all the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day Masses that are coming before us. That's kind of the next piece, just a reminder of our Christmas Mass schedule. Again, the uh, we do request reservations if you're able to reserve. Uh, we have very limited seating, of course, uh, especially on the big Masses at 4 p.m. Um, I think there's still some spots available, although the seating may not be in the church proper. We may be in the gathering space or the Martha Mary Fellowship Hall. And if we have extra overload, we can uh, accommodate some people, I believe, downstairs in the Archangel Rooms, uh, watching it, again, uh, live stream over the TV or the or the projectors. Um, but again, please get those reservations in if you can. Uh, otherwise, I think we have a lot of space available still at the uh, 7 p.m. Masses and the 10 p.m. Mass and the 9 a.m. Sunday Mass, or Christmas Day Mass, excuse me. So again, reminder, uh, on Christmas Eve, we have two Masses. 4 p.m. in the parish center and 4 p.m. in the church, simultaneous masses. Also have simultaneous masses at 7 p.m. in the parish center and in the church. The 10 p.m. mass uh, will be in the church. And of course, on Christmas Day, 9 a.m. mass in the church. So uh, we look forward to seeing whoever can come. Uh, again, I know with uh, the COVID and pandemic issues that are still out there, uh, we don't want anyone to take any unnecessary risk, but uh, we are all set up for with our social distancing here at St. Pius. Uh, and we can accommodate, again, uh, we still have rooms available according to our reservation list so far. Uh, no one will be turned away, no matter what. Uh, but uh, again, it's just to provide the best accommodations uh, possible for all of those who will be attending. So that will be our, our kind of our Christmas uh, Eve and Christmas Day mass schedule. Uh, otherwise, the uh, parish offices will be closed uh, on noon on Wednesday this week, um, all the way through uh, to... Uh, I believe uh, Christmas Monday will be off and pick it back up uh, next Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, following next Tuesday and Wednesday after Christmas uh, for half days and then we're into the new year. So again, it's a busy, busy time. Um, as always, I just want to thank everyone for your prayers, your support for our parish community. Um, I'm continually edified by the real uh, generosity of spirit and love and support that we have for one another. Again, as uh, many uh, families are struggling these days. We ask your prayers for, for them. Um, and knowing that we're called to be Christ for one another. You know, one of the great ways we welcome Christ into the world uh, is first of all, welcoming him into our hearts, but then being that the hands and the heart and the mind uh, and the eyes of Christ for others. Uh, and really make an effort uh, this week to extend the love of Christ to someone in, the, in a very simple and wonderful way by reaching out to them. Uh, so may God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas celebration uh, in the week ahead. And uh, may God bless you and your family. May everyone stay safe. And uh, uh, from all of us here at St. Pius, uh, on behalf of the parish staff and all of our parish, we, we uh, wish you all a blessed and holy and healthy Christmas. God bless.